Hello Art Tribe, let's make a chessboard with Moss Epoxy's resin and mold off of Amazon. Now the reason why I like using the Moss system, that is the flag system with the medium hardener, you guys know that this is probably my go-to resin for everything for all my casting crafts, it's because it has low viscosity, it holds very little bubbles, it's easy to mix, but the main thing that I love about this resin is that it cures quickly. So within about two and a half to three hours, you can actually add a different layer and a couple more hours hours after that you can actually demold now let's talk about these molds for a second the mold that you first saw in the beginning that is the chessboard has two different kinds of pieces i added you'll see here the first color and i'm going to let this color completely cure before i go ahead and add the other one because we don't want our resin blocks to mix colors we want them to be very different now here of course i made a little oopsie and you're going to see that i'm going to fix that now, if you follow me on my other platforms, you know that I actually started using a new mold for the little chess pieces. They are singular molds where you can fill it up all in one piece, and there you have it. Now, they are a little bit hard to demold. They rip easily. They are worth it, though, because they are a little bit bigger, and you don't have to glue the pieces together. Um, these ones here... They're not bad, you just fill them to the top, you demold them, They're, these are a lot easier to fill just to get the little details on the top of like the queen and the king and all the other bits, you don't get air bubbles in them, which is fantastic. So once you fill that, you guys know, I always say this, we do not use a torch on our molds because we don't want our mold to stick to our resin cast. So pouring, pouring, pouring in here, the yellow's already cured and I'm gonna go ahead and add the black. And sometimes, depending on the mold you get, the black area or the second area you post, You'll see on the sides there are little lines that it connects to, so I used a little toothpick to kind of make sure that fills in, and now we're gonna let that go ahead and cure. Once that cures, I decided to put in a yellow background again. I've had a little Hufflepuff theme here, if you couldn't tell. Um, yeah, nice and glittery. I went ahead and poured it. Make sure you have a very super, super level table while you're pouring these back piece because you don't want it to spill over or anything like that. And now our little molds over here are cured and look at how cute they are. I remember making this um, chest piece. It was one of my first bigger pieces that I did with resin and I loved it. It was really... It, it's a, it has good memories in my heart. <laughs> so you'll see here that once I demolded, I used kind of... Um, I forget the kind of glue. It's going to show it right now. You can use any glue. You can use the E6000 glue, but my favorite glue recently is called the Starbound glue. Yeah, I use the tacky glue. You totally can use that, but it just takes a little bit of time for it to cure. I like using the Starbound. Now, the Starbound that I use, I have it, you know, all the materials I'm using, guys, in this video is going to be on my Amazon storefront, so just go ahead and go to the um, description. It'll all be there for you. The Starbound, you put a little bit of the glue, you pull the items together, and there's actually an accelerator spray. You just spray a little bit on there, and that is going to be stuck on there like right away and it's gonna be amazing. So we unmolded this and look how cute. And here is a little bit of the, you know, pretty shots of the end, aesthetic shots. And I hope this helped you guys. I hope you guys learned. If you're not subscribed, please do. And as always, drop your questions in the comments and I will get to you. And for Moss Epoxy's discount, use code Annie's Art.